From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your evening weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And while we tied some records around East Tennessee with some incredibly hot weather, summer-like weather on this first day of fall. Hi, everybody. Sure hope you had a great weekend. Let's talk about it because while McGee Tyson Airport was three degrees shy of the record high, we actually tied the record in Chattanooga at 96, set back in 1935, and also in Tri-Cities at 90, set back in 1965. So it was incredibly hot around town thanks to this ridge of high pressure that's going to continue to dominate the weather pattern. And as it does so, that's going to continue to bring us elevated heat as we get into our Monday. Again, I sure hope you had a great weekend as we get through the evening hours. Temperatures still on the toastier side, but by 8 o'clock tonight, sun goes down. Temperatures fall pretty quickly, so we'll be down to 81. We've had a little bit more humidity in the atmosphere. You probably felt that throughout the day today. So, uh, yeah, felt a little bit more muggy. Felt very much like summertime, which was nice if you went out to the pools or the lakes. Uh, but if you just happen to be outside and you're wanting those pumpkin spice lattes in the fall weather, well, we're not quite there yet. Temperatures as we get our Monday morning started are going to drop down into the upper 60s. We'll be back in the upper 80s to low 90s, so it is definitely going to be incredibly hot. But we also have a risk for some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms per the uh, uh, Storm Prediction Center. So let's walk you through that future cast. We'll start off nice and quiet early Monday morning, heading through our Monday afternoon as we get into the lunchtime hour. No big deal whatsoever. But it's shortly after the lunch hour that we'll start to see these afternoon showers and a few thunderstorms. Now, we're not talking about a total washout by any stretch of the imagination, but we see, we're going to see a lot more energy in the atmosphere, so that's going to pop off some late afternoon, early evening showers and storms. Not everyone gets the rainfall, unfortunately, and we desperately need the rain. But there are changes on the way. High pressure breaks down. That's going to allow a couple of troughs and disturbances to swing on into our area as we get into our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame. And as this low pressure system starts to swing its way on through, that's going to open the doors from the Gulf of Mexico. So the humidity is going to increase. Clouds are going to increase. Chances for rain increase, and therefore temperatures will begin to decrease through the middle and latter part of the week. Not only are we talking about an upper level low swinging in from the north, but we're talking about a possible tropical system swinging in from the south. So the uh, National Hurricane Center now has up to a 40% chance for this to become a tropical system over the next two days and an 80% chance over the next seven days. So all models are kind of coming into uh, coming in line, if you will, the consensus is starting to increase. That means confidence increases in the forecast. There's that storm system that's going to be swinging its way into the Gulf of Mexico, developing into likely a tropical system of some sort of nature, whether it be a tropical storm to a tropical depression to an actual hurricane, and then swinging its way into the Appalachian region as we get into the latter part of next week, which will elevate our rain chances. So yes, we have more so uh, elevated rain chances all the way through Wednesday, thanks to the low coming in from the north. And then as we round out the week and head into the weekend, we're only going to keep it at about 20-30% chance right now due to the fact that there's still so many unknowns with this potential tropical system. But the Weather Prediction Center is thinking that we're going to see some elevated rain chances across the southeastern U.S. all the way to uh, through the end of the month and the start of October. So Monday we're hot. Then we're going to start to see those temperatures dip down to those seasonal averages and even below average possibly as we get into next weekend, i.e. we're still going to be talking about more cloud coverage and more moisture. But as we round out the month and start the month of October, while we are going to get a nice little break in these uh, extreme heat, we're going to get a nice little taste of fall. It looks like above average temperatures may be working their way back in. But all that means by the end of the month is temperatures will be warmer than 78 degrees. So make sure you stay in the know with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's your one-stop shop for weather right here in East Tennessee. It's a free app download, and it's all weather all the time for us here in East Tennessee, as I mentioned. Daily forecast weather updates. You can track the tropics with the interactive radar. Check in on those current conditions. And, of course, the interactive radar gives you current, past, and future radar of two hours. It's a great tool, and, again, it is 100% free. Witcher is going to be broadcasting live from a golf course tomorrow morning, Monday morning. So join us for Wake Up with the Witcher. I'll be out at a golf tournament in Blunt County. You'll want to know more about this. Tune in. Have a great night.